the Jamlalal Bajaj Foundation was established in 1977 in the memory of Sri Jamlalal Bajaj with the objective of promoting the kind of constructive activities to which he dedicated himself during his lifetime every year the foundation gives awards to people who have rendered outstanding service in specified fields each of these awards consists of a citation a trophy and a cash prize of rupees 5 lakhs the recipients of the 2008 awards are shri vishwanath patnayak shri tushar kanjilal shrimati phoolbasan yadav and mr louis kampana shri vishwanath patnayak has been involved in social welfare and rural development activities since he was 17 his inspirations mahatma gandhi vinoba bhave and jay prakash narayan be it the dowry system or superstitious practices shri patnaik has always challenged social evils fearlessly presently the services shri patnaik is rendering benefit children women the aged and other downtrodden masses his work through the banwasi seva samiti has uplifted thousands of lives 300 children in four different centers are being looked after schools as well as vocational education institutions for self reliance have been set up special attention is given to the blind and the deaf through the establishment of independent schools and teaching staff a nutritious food project is functioning at bali goda in orissa which provides for the needs of malnourished children pregnant and nursing mothers a printing press for teaching children printing and providing employment has been established a 40 acre agriculture and kitchen garden a dairy farm and a carpenter unit are the other activities of the samiti of which shri patnayak is the moving spirit an old age home and special homes for children have been provided he has introduced a number of income generating schemes like agriculture project mulberry plantation silk production unit nutrition food production packet unit dairy farm printing press and carpentry work a gandhian dedicated constructive social worker freedom fighter and sarvodaya leader shri vishwanath patnayak lives what he preaches austerity selflessness and compassion shri tushar kanjilal is the secretary of the tagore society for rural development kolkata established in 1969 the society started working in drought and flood prone areas in west bengal bihar and orissa to bring back life in all its completeness making the villagers more self reliant the organization focuses on areas relating to childhood education adult education comprehensive health program social forestry and ecological development shri kanjilal has worked for over 30 years in the sundarbans district south 24 parganas and has contributed specifically to the comprehensive and integrated rural development in the 54 islands of the region shri kanjilal is the author of the book who killed the sundarbans he has explained here why the sundarbans have become an ecological disaster he says the reason is the trend that began 20 years ago of poor people fishing bagda meaning tiger spawns that come from the sea and take shelter under the roots of mangroves shri kanjilal's forte has been in the field of applying appropriate technology to the sundarbans region he has led a movement to save the mangrove forests of the sundarbans believing that if the mangrove forests are not saved bengal is doomed the much traveled shri kanjilal has served in prominent positions on several renowned organizations like NCERT and CAPART 
He was declared the Week magazine's Man of the Year in 1985 and honored with the Padma Shri in 1996. An author, a teacher, a relentless crusader for ecology, an accomplished rural technologist, Sri Kanji Lal is a living bridge with the hope and the means for development. Shrimati Phulbhasan comes from a very humble background. She belongs to the category below the poverty line. Against all odds, she formed the Pragya Mahila Samoom, Kiraya Bhandar, Bazar Theka and Ration Shops. Women's groups with involvement by Shrimati Phulbhasan participate in health programs such as Pulse Polio, nutrition programs like Bal Bhoj, for young children in schools and anganwadis education of children through enrollment and regular attendance especially for girl students they try to prevent early marriages ladki na balik hai 18 saal ke baad mein shaadi karna hai shrimati phulbhasan has contributed significantly to the literacy program in the state shrimati phulbhasan has been instrumental in empowering women through 19000 women's groups and 2325 adolescent girls groups there has been complete prohibition of alcohol in 625 villages 2800 children have been adopted through various women's groups and 570 child marriages have been stopped various projects have been carried out for the economic upliftment of women such as goat rearing pig rearing fish breeding tent house and plate manufacture Shrimati Phulbhasan contributed to make women self sufficient and to acquire prestigious positions in society Her social work has encouraged small savings of crores of rupees Her contribution has been acknowledged by the government administration and organizations such as banks through various awards and recognitions It is thanks to Shrimati Phulbhasan's leadership skills politeness dedication to work and inspiring personality that hundreds of families in the chatisgarh region today breathe a little easy mr louis campana's meeting with lanza del vasto christian shantidas by gandhi ji proved to be the turning point of his life since this meeting Mr Campana has steadfastly fought for the non-violence also by living a simple life. He joined Shantidas in the community of the Arc in France, staying there for 8 years. During this period, he was initiated into non-violent demonstrations and fasts organized to protest against French nuclear tests and against the extension of a military camp in Larzac in the center of France. In the course of his journey towards promoting non-violence, Mr. Campana has made various documentaries on non-violence and their practitioners in various parts of the world. He participated in the World Forum in 2004 in Mumbai. He visited Anandvan and met Baba Amte. In 2005, Mr. Campana participated in the Congress for Peace and Non-Violence in Vardha. Mr Campana's activities have led to a better knowledge and appreciation of Gandhi ji's thought and life in France through the creation of various non-profit organizations and their activities he has considerably extended the scope of non-violent activism and Gandhian thought in Europe in France the impact of his work has been very important in the non-violent milieu where he could federate various French organizations under a single gandhian banner through the production of his documentaries many non-violent struggles and situations of precarious communities abroad have gained worldwide attention this has enabled them to get support and help from many people and organizations mr campana believes in the advancement of mankind through the spiritual values of non-violence a courageous and uncorrupted man who is deeply attached to the truth mr louis campana has inspired many young people 
willing to establish long-term mechanisms of Gandhian non-violent resistance against repressive power and authorities.